A lot of countries build cars, but which one makes the most powerful cars? Today, we're gonna look at the most powerful car from every country that has a car company to find out which nation is the best at squeezing horsey boys out of engines. I'm James, and this is the D-D-D-D-D-D-U-S. Help us make room for some new stock by buying some old favorites at our Donut Media garage sale by going to donutmedia.com and getting some sick t-shirts on sale. There's some old limited release shirts in dark mode that uh, we don't have very many quantities of, so you gotta act fast. The sale runs from the 24th through the 27th of March, so you gotta act fast. Go to donutmedia.com. It's your chance to even grab a classic donut logo tee for under 20 bucks. Click that link down there. Get you a sick tea. Now we spent a lot of time Googling stuff for this video, but just in case we get something wrong, sorry. We'd love to hear what you have to say about it. You can email Nolan at his personal email, mrsharrystyles at gmail.com. With that out of the way, let's begin with the lowest ranked horsepower country on this list, Egypt. Now the only actual Egyptian car company that we could find on the internet is Edgitech engineering they make a teeny little electric car called the maestro and it makes 15.3 horsepower so already the bar is set super high strap in boys and girls because these numbers are only getting bigger you don't believe me then let's take a trip to norway one of the wealthiest countries on this fat green earth but somehow their only car company is buddy electric and this is their car the buddy now, if that's not the cutest freaking name for a car company ever, it sounds like a character in Toy Story. It's so small that Norwegian law actually lets you park it sideways, and it blows the freaking doors off of the Maestro with a whopping 17.4 horsepower. <laughs> Tunisia, Wally Car Iris. This weird Jeep looking car is powered by a 1.4 liter Peugeot engine and it spits out 82 horsepowers. But maybe you want something a little more exotic. Well, let's jump over to the home of my favorite movie, Madagascar 2, Escape to Africa, Madagascar. This country's fastest Madagascar is the Karen G. Mazana 2. And uh, interesting fact, they made a Pope mobile version when the Pope came to town. And I'm sure he was very impressed by the 112 horsepowers that this baby makes. We are officially in triple digits, baby! I've owned more than four cars with less than 100 horsepower. This is the Pindad Muang. This badass little 4x4 comes in two flavors, military and civilian. And they both come with a turbo diesel engine making 149 horsepower. Romania. No, it's not just a place for vampires. Their most powerful car is the Dacia Duster. Don't eat any garlic in this crossover SUV. That's a joke about vampires. 150 horsepowers. Iran, the Kodro Saman Soren ELX. Soren, like the bad guy from Lord of the Rings. You ever heard of him? They've been making cars since 1962, and this less than exciting four-door sedan trumps them all with 155 horsepowers. Brazil. Puma GT Luminari. This thing is a throwback to the classic Pumas from the 60s and 70s. The car, not the shoes, okay? Comes with a Chevy motor, good for 180 years per Kenya's most powerful car is the Mobius Motors Mobius 3. It was built to traverse the rough roads and rugged terrain found in many parts of the regional infrastructure. And it does that with exactly 213.5 horsepower. All right, let's hop on over to Nigeria. Why not? You'll find a company called Innocent, the pride of African road. Their most powerful vehicle is the G80, a copy of a Chinese copy of a G-Wagon with a Mitsubishi engine. It makes 247 horsepowers. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's head over to Austria, okay? And let's pump it up a little bit. Okay, everybody, first real sports car on this list, the KDM Crossbow Comp R. This carbon fiber racy car is made by a motorcycle company that I thought was from Wisconsin, but it's got four wheels and it's street legal. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a car. Actually, I'm pretty sure that it's not street legal, but it is sick, so I'm counting it anyway, because I make the rules. Actually, the monolith makes the rules. 
It weighs 1,700 pounds. It doesn't have any doors. And it makes 300 mid-engine Austrian horses. Hasta la vista, baby. Czech Republic also has a carbon fiber race car supercar thing. It's called the Praga R1R, and it makes 390 hertz per. Now for a car that I actually recognize. The Hyundai Genesis G90 from South Korea. A luxury sedan with a five liter V8. Puff Puff passes tires with its 420 hertz per, dude. <laughs> Up next is an Israeli car called the Zabar. This company was started by a racer and fabricator who took what he learned in the Israeli Special Forces to create this military grade 4x4. Now it can be configured as a civilian vehicle and even a Dakar race truck. It's powered by an LS3 that makes 430 horse purrs. This next car comes from Turkey and no, I'm not talking about a Thanksgiving bird. <laughs> the Etox Zaffer. It's a tribute to an old rally car called the STC16. Now according to their website, you can get it with a bunch of different engines, including one that makes 450 horse per. Where to next? I don't know. How about Vietnam? Their most powerful car is named after Dom Toretto, the VinFast president. Sickest name on the list so far. This is a limited edition luxury SUV that costs $164,000. That's a lot of dong. What do you get for that much money? A lot. You get gold trim, supple interior, and a 6.2 liter V8. Most people think it's an LS. Some people think it's the Hellcat block without a supercharger. Seems like a pretty easy mystery to solve to me. You open the hood and look. Anyway, the mysterious V8 makes 455 hertz per. Gobble, gobble, turkey. Vietnam's in the lead. Next, we have a Malaysian car called the Bafori Geneva. Bafori stands for, and I swear that this is true, beautiful, unique, fantastic, original, romantic, irresistible. Yeah. Based on a 1930s American coupe and can be fitted with a coffee machine, a Chinese tea set, or even a cigar humidor. It has massaging seats, thermal night vision cameras. We're not here for any of that crap, are we? We're here to talk about buff horses. And the Geneva makes 470 fun, absolutely fantastic hearse per. Now in Greece, you've got an off-road supercar called the Chorus P4. Uh, it's like a NSX dune buggy. They stuffed a seven liter LS7 Corvette engine under the hood, good for 505 hertz purrs. In South Africa, they got a supercar called the Harper Type 6. It's got a hand-built tube chassis, fiberglass body, and a Lexus V8 that lays down 536 hertz purrs. Switzerland, Picasso PS1. It's not a video game about art. It's a carbon fiber supercar that makes 600 horsepower. Try to keep up, Netherlands. Venture Sarth draws inspiration from analog race cars of the 1980s. No bells, no, not a single whistle, no driver aids, just a 6.2 liter V8 with 622 buff Dutch Crunch horses. What's up, bike? We love your sandwiches around here. Bulgaria Sin R1, it's got a supercharged LS9, pumping out 650 hearse pairs. The monolith is getting happy, guys. That means we're safe. For now. Next up, we got America of the Southern Hemisphere, Australia, one of my favorite countries slash continents. You ever heard of the Brabham's? Well, they've been running F1 teams since like the 1960s, so Google it. And it turns out that they don't just make F1 cars. They also make this, the BT62. This is a super duper car meant for the track, and it's so aerodynamic that it makes over a ton of downforce. Any way you cut it, that's impressive, but how much power does it make? 700, man, 700. Now let's take a trip to India, shall we? Now you might not think of this country as a hub for ultralight electric supercars. Then I guess you've never seen the Vazirani Automotive e -conk, have ya? This single seater makes 722, absolutely buzzing buff. Let's go to Taiwan. Sure, whatever. What do you get when you pair up an iPhone manufacturer with Pininfarina? Easy, you get a Foxconn Model E. Good luck get, not getting sued by Ford with that name. But either way, this phone car makes 750 
horsepower. From Belgium, we have one of the weirdest cars ever made, the Gillette Vertigo. Vertigo? Why would you name a car Vertigo? These things have been around since the 90s, but the latest version is the most powerful yet with an 800 horsepower V6. Sri Lanka, the Vega EVX, the first electric sports car from South Asia. Nice, this thing makes 804 hertz per. Now we're getting to the good stuff. There's a lot of cars that come out of this little place I like to call Italy. And their most powerful one currently is a Ferrari, the SF90 Assetta. Fiorano to be exact. Yes, that's how you say it. It's named after Ferrari's own test track. And a hybrid power plant gives it a big, fat, honking thousand hertz purrs. Next up, North Korea. You didn't know North Korea makes cars? Well, according to Wikipedia, the Sungri ZR500 giant dumping truck is powered by a W-shaped four-cylinder engine which produces a thousand horsepower and has a top speed of an impressive 200 kilometers an hour. In Spain, you've got the Hispano Suiza Carmen. This is a new electric car inspired by the legendary designs of the 1930s. It's got a 1100 horsepower. In Denmark, you've got the Zenvo TSRS. It's like a Lycan Hypersport, which is a fake supercar, but the Zenvo is real. This Great Dane is a street version of a track version of a street car. That's right, it makes 1177 horsepower. In Ukraine, they got a supercar concept called the Hamira Q. This slick puppy apparently makes 1200 horsepower from an electric engine and was developed by a businessman. In Canada, yes, Canada. They make cars. You got the HTT Plethor. Got a V10 from a Viper and it makes 1300 horsepower. So not to be outdone by a Canada. China just unveiled the Hongqi S9. It pairs a twin turbo V8 with electric motors to produce 1381 horsepower. Guys, it's getting crazy. We got a bunch of more countries left. The Mexico stepped in and dropped the Inferno exotic car. It's made out of something called metal phone, acclaimed 1400 horsepower. Our next car is from France. You're like, who what French company makes cars? Bugatti, you fucking idiot. This is the Chiron Super Sport. Chiron, I don't know. I'm not gonna Google it. Now you already know about this ridiculous 16 cylinder machine. We talk about it a lot because it's freaking so sick. It's got 1500. 80 horsepower. France! They're not just fries anymore. Sweden, Koningsegg Gamera. This insane engine only weighs 150 pounds and doesn't have any cams. It's called the Tiny Friendly Giant because it makes 1,700 horsepowers. But somehow, we've still got a few countries to go that somehow make cars with more power than Sweden. Morocco is one of them. It's a car called the Laraki Epitome, and it's the epitome of being a real car. <laughs> Got a twin turbo LS, uh, and French Montana owns the only one in existence. Cool. Probably just as legit as the Korean dump truck. So we're putting it on the list, 1,750 hertz per. Next on the list, USA, United States of America. Toot, that's where I'm from. You know Hennessy. They tune a lot of fast cars and they make them faster, but they also make their own bespoke vehicle, the Venom F5. This 300 mile per hour yellow bullet makes 1,817 horsepower. I saw one the other day. But that isn't even as much as the Pininfarina Batista, which is German? Pininfarina? Batista sounds pretty Italian to me. But just like spaghetti and pepperoni, just because it sounds Italian doesn't mean it is. Pininfarina is actually based in Munich, Germany. Therefore, it's a German car owned by an Indian company. 1900 Hersperers. The Batista, of course, shares a drivetrain with our next car from Croatia. Of course, I'm talking about the Remac Nevera, as in Nevera gonna be able to afford one, which we all know has 1,914 horsepower. You've seen the rest of these cars before. If you watch our supercar video, I call them cars, but 
everything, but here's the top three on the list. From the UK, you've got the Lotus Evija, named after the Hobbit guy. It's got 1,972 Austin horsepowers. From Japan, you've got the Aspark Owl, a very Orwellian, 1984 horsepower. Before the very last car on this list, we did our best to include every country, but if we missed any, please let Nolan know. Again, Mrs. Harry Styles at gmail.com. And with that, we reach our final car on the list from the United Arab Emirates. It's been at the top of this list before. A Devil 16 with an two E's. I've heard your comments. You don't think it's a real car, and you know what? I agree. But even if it makes half as much horsepower as the company claims, it would still be the number one car on this list. I mean, that sounds real to me. So at number one, uh, it has 5,007 horsepower, because why not? And I promise I'll never talk about this car again. At this point, I'm jaded. I'm exhausted. This is pointless. What are we doing here? This sh <laughs> Congrats, Dubai, you win. Thank you guys for watching this video and everything else on Donut. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Hit that like button. I love you.